So these are your kids, eh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> these are my little brothers and sisters. Uh, and how many are here at the orphanage? I think around 67 people all together. Uh, this is one of the rooms that the kids are in. You see the facility is in much need of repair. Uh, we actually priced um, repainting and rebuilding the facility and it came over $12,000. That's a little bit more than what we can get and if we cut anything else out, it'll be actually impacting their budget as far as food and other supplies that they need. So unfortunately, the, the facility is left without electricity, mainly because we have a power bill of uh, $24,000 that they were hit up with. Unfortunately, that impacts several aspects as far as studying at nighttime, being able to give the kids nutritional meals. Try four girls, four girls got married already. And Nigella, she doesn't have, like, her father passed away and her mother was crazy. And uh, her aunt take her home and sell her to her neighbor to be his wife. She's gone. How much does it cost to marry off? 50,000 Afghani, which is $1,000. That's it. That's it. After a month here in the orphanage with all these girls, their personalities really do start to shine and uh, leave an imprint on you. I mean, these girls are incredible. Who are you writing a letter to? Uh, to Rose. Who's Rose? Uh, she's my sponsor. Where is she? In America. Uh, what is the letter all about? Uh, about uh, Ahmed Karzai, president of Afghanistan. I see um, he's not help for Afghanistan. And Abdullah Abdullah. Maybe uh, Bashar Dus is very good president for Afghanistan. He really helped for Afghanistan. How old are you? I am 14 years old. Have you ever thought about going into politics yourself? Yes. Really? Yeah. Would you want to be president of Afghanistan? Yes. What would you do if you could be president of Afghanistan? Uh, yes, um, I, I help for poor people in Afghanistan. I really help for... Well, if you are on the ballots in the years to come, I will vote for you. Okay, thanks very much. Education is the only guarantee which can ensure and guarantee the prosperity of a society, of a country, and can break the cycle of violence in our country. There are a lot of psychological problems uh, normally in Afghan kids, and more seriously in the orphans. They are the most abandoned uh, part of our society. They are, they are the most uh, deprived part of our societies. They have never seen a sympathetic response to their needs. So if they were left in the same situation as it is, the day will come that they will be the most reactionary, they will be the most revengeful part of our country. And it will disturb our country and, of course, the others. So we're now in the province of Nang Nahar. Um, we brought two of the girls from the orphanage with us. Uh, we're going to actually go visit their homes and their families and uh, see what life was like for them before they actually got to the orphanage. Good morning. Good morning. So just for going to school and having a new life. Well, I say Shuki could be simply an uneducated woman. I mean, if she was here, she was like other children. We <laughs> got one, two, three small rooms in the entire family will live here. The uncle and the, her father and mother and the children, so all in this, in this house. How do you think the other village children uh, see her now? I'm sure they are still young, but they have this wish they could be like her to be in the orphanage or into any school or going somewhere, not, not to stay the whole life in this village. But I'm sure when she grows up and she's like a doctor or engineer, all of them will respect them more than that and she could be a good leader for that. So one person could change the entire you know, community. 
I'm sure she could change that in the whole community. I'm Val. Yes. I chose to help uh, this charity in particular because it's kids. If, if we can actually give them a good start in life, you know, they have some way to go. Look at me. My name is Kabul. These are the funkiest glasses you're going to see, right? You ready? I'm taking part in this because uh, the people in Afghanistan are very much, they've gone through a lot of hardships, so they appreciate everything for its value, you know, every little moment, every little thing. So um, you sometimes need to go in that level to really appreciate everything in life. You know? And here we are doing that. So this is sorting session number eight, nine. I have lost track, and I've called all the troops in. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, uh, depending on how many boxes we have left, that we'll get through the rest of the room today. Hopefully, another room. That's a wrap. See you next time. Is that okay?